everyone, um, Tom Barber here. I'm one of the uh, oldest serving members of uh, Team Clickers. Uh, I've known Graham for the last uh, 20 years now. Um, and I thought I'd sort of take this opportunity um, in, this, in this sort of video um, blog um, type thing to obviously give you guys uh, a bit of an update on um, how I'm coping with the, uh, with the lockdown, um, obviously amidst of the, uh, the global pandemic. Um, that's taken the world, or that's, that's gripped the world at the moment. Um, it's not, it's not easy to, for any of us, obviously, because we, you know, we can't enjoy our own, um, you know, our own freedoms and uh, our own sort of liberties that we were doing uh, prior to the lockdown. And obviously, for me, um, the impact uh, has been that I've got nowhere to, uh, nowhere to train as a, as I prepare, try and prepare for uh, an Olympics, which was going to be this summer, but is now obviously shifted by 12 months to um, July 2021. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's pretty difficult. I think, you know, we, we, we've obviously all got to take the lockdown pretty seriously. I'm endeavouring to do my bit and, you know, staying indoors, not going out to, you know, to, to train anywhere, so basically um, looking for looking for things to keep myself occupied in that time. Um, so I thought I'd, you know, take this, this moment to sort of share with you some of the things I've been getting up to while I obviously can't um, go about training, can't you know carry out my, my normal normal sort of day to day business as it were. Um, so what have I been doing? Um, I've uh, I've recently actually started learning uh, learning a new language. I thought now is a perfect time to um, challenge myself on on the linguistics front. Um, so I've actually started to learn uh, Russian. Russian is obviously one of the only European languages. I want it to remain within Europe, and it's obviously one of the only um, languages in Europe that has a, a different alphabet, the Cyrillic alphabet. So I sort of thought, well, yeah, let's let's give that a whirl, and you know, try to challenge myself and get to grips with a completely new alphabet. Um, so and that's been going okay. Yeah, I've been getting all right. Like it's uh, a few words are uh, a bit of a tongue twister in there, some occasionally, but um, yeah, slowly but surely getting the hang of it. And um, I've also found time to um, start reading some books that I've had on the shelf for for ages, but never really got round to. Primarily this one at the moment. I'm trying to work my way through Andrew Marr's History of the World. Um, I'm quite interested in history um as such like on a, on a sort of personal level like interested in um both modern and ancient history um and this book's really sort of gone through every every sort of major stage of civilization really from far back as we can remember and it's interesting like reading through it how technology moves on um you know uh, industry sort of moves on but the same sort of societal problems and challenges that you you know you we're faced with today uh they were faced with you know back minute you know thousands and thousands of years ago so. um on a more serious note um i've also uh volunteered to go back to my um my previous working role within within the royal air force as many of you may know um i'm a member of the a member of the royal air force um have been since 2013 um and i've I've taken the opportunity now that I'm not training with um, training with the, the British National Squad. Um, excited to be sort of a part of that and you know contributing and trying to trying to make a difference. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's um, that's 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 me really. That's how I'm filling my time in and around. Obviously, trying to stay in as, as good a shape as I can. Yeah, just general. Um, yeah, drawing drawing the bow back. Um, Anything, anything that I can, I can do that's remotely specific to archery, so that I'm not completely caught out when I, um, when I, when I go back to, back to um, training with the national squad. Um, yeah. So, if you guys got any questions, feel free to, um, to get in touch with, get in touch with Graham. And um, I don't have any social media at this, at this, at this time of writing. All right. Take care, guys.